What is going on guys? I am back with another Minecraft tutorial and in this video I'm going to be rebuilding my old church. Alright, so for the plot size, from left to right, you're going to need 27 blocks. And from front to back, you're going to need 33. I gathered up the blocks we're going to be using for the entire exterior of the building. And I have some cobblestone, cobblestone stairs, stone, chiseled stone bricks, stone bricks, white stained glass panes, stone brick stairs, diorite, quartz stairs, dark oak wood slabs, iron bars, oak leaves, quartz slabs, dark oak wood stairs, dark oak planks, oak fences, and then a bunch of different colored glass. You could just grab whatever colors you want, but I have lime, purple, red, blue, and orange stained glass panes. Okay, I'm going to be starting at the front side of the build, and we're going to head on over to the right corner. And you want to count towards the back six blocks from the corner. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Now you could go over to the left one and with your cobblestone, continue going over to the left and place nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So once again, we are starting with the front side of the building and that is just like the front right hand corner continue with your cobblestone and head on over to the left side of that strip that you just placed and we're going to bring this out towards the front two blocks then let's go over to the left place another two skip over three then starting right here on that fourth block place another three go behind that place two and then to the left and place another eight one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once again, you should be right on the edge of the plot size. So from up above, this is what we have so far. It is all symmetrical. And now we'll start working our way towards the sides on each side and then to the back. And then we'll have the entire foundation done. Okay, continue with your cobblestone and we'll head on over to the right side first. You could go right behind this cobblestone that we already placed. So starting right here, we're going to go all the way to the back and we're going to place another 26. So including the block that we already have here, it's going to be 27 in total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 so you should be right on the edge of your plot size okay let's head on over to the other side so just another 26 so i'll just start right here and work my way all the way back so right on the edge once again right there and then for this back side here we're just going to completely fill in the middle space so just to make sure let's go ahead and count how many there's going to be so that you did it right so we'll just include this one. So we already have one here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Then including this one, it's twenty-five. So from corner to corner, it's twenty-five. Let's head on back up to the front. And this is what we have. So this is like the main foundation of the building. Now we'll go ahead and start bringing up some of them walls. Okay, let's go to each corner of the building. So the four corners on the outer edge. We're going to continue with our cobblestone once again. And we're going to add another 10 layers on top of each corner. So including our bottom layer here, it's going to be 11 in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So from the top all the way down to the bottom, we have 11. I'm going to go to the other three corners and do the same thing. There we go. 
Now we know how high to bring all of the walls for the, basically it's like the first floor of the building. So it's all of that right there. Keep in mind we still have that big tower to do, but that is how high we're gonna bring those walls where the windows are. Okay, let's start marking out where the windows are gonna be. I'm actually gonna switch around these cobblestone stairs and stone brick stairs because we're gonna be using the stone brick and the stone. So make sure to make it a little bit easier on yourself, you have these right next to each other. So we'll start with the regular stone block. I'm here at the front. We're gonna go from the corner right here. We're gonna place three. Switch to your stone brick stairs, place another three. Back to the stone and place two. All right. Let's go over to the left now. We're going to start here. We're going to place two. Then back to the stone brick stairs. Place three. Back to your stone. Place three. Okay, so we're going to continue this pattern. So three stairs. Three stone. Or er, uh, regular stone. Three stairs. Three stone. Three stairs. And then left off with two stone. Okay, so this is what it looks like. We have a total of four windows here. Now let's head on to the back. It's going to be a little bit different. So we're going to continue with our stone. We're going to place two. Then we're going to place three stone stairs. Back to your stone. And we're going to place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we'll go over here. We'll place two. Then back to your stone brick stairs. We're going to place three. And then we're going to add another three stone right there. Okay, so we have a total of two windows back here right now. We're going to have a big window in the middle. So we have two, then we have our window, and I guess the entire space in the middle is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And then we have our window here, and then two more. Let's head on over to this side, and it's going to be the same as that side. Head back up to the front. We're gonna go here, place two, three stone brick stairs, and then three stone. And now we have all of those windows marked out. We are gonna have one more window here at the back side. So let's just head to this back side. And we're gonna add another layer of stone on top of all of the stone that we have. Except right here in the middle, we wanna make sure to leave a space of five. So we're gonna have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we're left with a space of five, which we're gonna fill in with stone brick stairs. So this stone brick these stone brick stairs should be one block higher than these. Let's go over to this side, add our layer of stone, and then you could continue going all the way around and fill in one extra layer of stone on top of all of that stone that we already have. Okay, there we go. Looking good. Now we'll start continue, we're gonna continue bringing all of that up. So we're gonna have like a cool pattern. So like chiseled quartz here, then cobblestone, then brick. And it's gonna be a cool little pattern. So it's not a solid, regular like a uh, layer of stone. Okay, now on top of all of that stone, you can switch to your chiseled stone bricks. We're gonna add a layer on top of that now. And then, after we add this chiseled, we're going to switch to our cobblestone, add a layer on top of this, and then to our stone bricks. And we're gonna add a layer on top of that cobblestone. Okay, so I went all the way around with our chiseled. Now switch to your cobblestone. We're gonna add a layer on top of all of that. All right, then we're gonna have a layer of stone bricks. Back to your stone. We're gonna add another two layers on top of that stone brick. So how we have two layers here, we just wanna go on top of this and add another two layers all the way around.
Now we have all of those layers added like that. So we'll start shaping out how the windows are going to be. Okay, so for all of these smaller windows, we're going to be filling those in. We're going to worry about that big window later. So let's head on over to, we'll just head to the front right side right here. You can switch to your white stained glass panes and we're going to add four layers on top of that stone brick. Okay, then we're going to add one extra in the middle. We're going to have stone on each side. And then an upside down stone brick stair. Like that. Let's head on over to this window. We'll do it one more time. And then we'll do it for all of the windows on the side. As well as the two windows on the side. Like on the edge at the back. So right here again. Let me uh, switch this around. So we have it all next to each other. So we have our white stained glass panes. Add another four. Then one extra in the middle. Is then your stone on each side. Is then your upside down stone brick stair. So I'm going to go through and do that for all of these other smaller windows. Okay, we have the last small window done. So I went all the way around. Once again, we left that back one empty because that's going to be a little bit different. We're going to be having a bigger window there and we're going to be using all of our colored glass. All right, now let's continue adding the other layers of stone on top of these two stone layers here. So you can switch to your chiseled stone bricks. We're going to add a layer on top of all of this all the way around. And then after this, we're going to go on top of this chiseled <laughs> and add a layer of cobblestone. Make sure to skip this gap here still. Okay, now after this chiseled brick, you can switch to your cobblestone and add a layer on top of this. There we go, we have all of those layers added on. Now, let's go ahead and head on to the back side here and we'll start doing this big window. Okay, I have all of the different colored glass. We're just going to randomize it back here. So first, let's add an extra six layers of glass on top of the stone brick. So once again, just randomize it however you want. Okay, one more. All right, there we go. So we have six like that. Now let's go here in the middle and we're gonna add three. All right, and then one more here at the top in the middle and it'll just be one. I'll use the blue. So there we go. We'll leave it just as it is for now. And now what we're going to start doing... Oh wait, I forgot a layer of cobblestone here. Let's go ahead and add that before we forget. There we go. Alright, so this is what it looks like so far. I guess what we'll start doing now is shaping out... Uh, actually, we're going to have our cobblestone stairs. So we're going to start doing a little pattern here on the side in between all of the windows and on the corner of the building. So let's get on to doing that. Okay, like I said, make sure to grab your cobblestone stairs. We'll head on over here to the front left hand corner and we're just going to place a cobblestone stair just facing upward like normal then upside down and then normal upside down and normal and we're just going to keep doing this back and forth until we reach the layer of oh whoops layer of cobblestone right here so don't place it on that final block let's go on this side of this corner we'll do the same thing so just regular and upside down regular and upside down back and forth until you end off with an upside down one like that let's go in between all of these windows so we'll start right here and we'll do the same thing okay once again left off with an upside down one let's do it right here here and then on that side of that corner
Okay, now we have this backside. And is that we're gonna have... We actually aren't gonna have one right there. Yeah. So just on uh, this backside and then on uh, that side of the corner. All right, and then the same thing that we did to that side is what we're going to be doing to this side. All right, I'm doing the last one right now is that we have all of this little extra detail with the stairs all done. Okay, there we go. Now, we'll start shaping out how the roof is going to be, and then we'll bring up this tower right here in the middle. Next, let's go ahead and start shaping out how the roof is going to be. We're going to be using our quartz stairs. Make sure you're on the same layer as this cobblestone block here, and we're going to place it upside down and sideways in that direction. Then, continue with two more upside down quartz stairs towards the left. Is that we're going to have an upward quartz stair on the side of that kind of like corner stair there. So two upside down quartz stairs here, a, an upside down curved one, and then just an, a regular stair basically on its side. Okay, then let's just push these quartz stairs all the way towards the back. Until we're lined up with uh, the cobblestone stair right there. Is that we're gonna have another upside down stair facing in that, or whoops, in that direction. And then two more court stairs here. Okay, let's go up to the front. We'll do it one more time, just in case if that was a little bit confusing. So we have a stair which we're gonna face upside down in that direction, up against that cobblestone block. Is that two more upside down there? Then next to this curved one, we're gonna have a stair sideways but facing up. Let's push this towards the back. Make sure it's lined up with these cobblestone stairs here. Then we're gonna have an upside down quartz stair like that, kind of like sideways, and then two more upside down curving into it. So since we're here at the back, let's go ahead and just bring this all the way up so it forms a triangle. So we'll start right here on top of that curved one. Then we're just gonna go back and forth. So upside down and up, and then upside down and up, back and forth like that. Until you're just about right in the middle. So how we know where the middle is gonna be, we have to make sure to line up with that window down below. All right, so we'll leave it right there. So this is lined up right here on this side of the window. So on the second set of glass panes from the right. So that means the center is going to be right here. So let's go ahead before we actually do all of that. Let's start bringing up this side so we to make sure that we brought it up to where it's supposed to be. So just regular upside down back and forth until it's at the same height as that other side. All right, I almost brought it all the way up. And there we go, so now they're the same height. So that means we left, we're left with one space in the middle. So we have an upside down quartz stair there and then a quartz slab on the top. So that is the shape of the roof here at the back side. At the front, it's gonna be a little bit different. We're not gonna bring it up and meet it in the middle because we have that tower there, as you can see, which kind of just cuts it off. So what we're going to do is bring it up nine on each side. So we have this layer down here. So that already includes one. So we want to bring it up another eight. So we have one. And then two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. So it's going to stop right there. Just to make sure that you did it right, the edge of these stairs are going to be right on the edge of this cobblestone here. 
all right so we left one extra space so this is right where the big tower is going to be brought up let's go over to this side we'll bring it up another eight And there we go, we have that all marked out. Now before we actually fill in all of the space, you know what? I guess we could start filling in all of the space with our dark oak wood stairs. We just have to make sure to stop it right here, lined up with this quartz stairs. So we have our dark oak wood stairs. We'll just bring this straight across to the back side and it should meet up with the stair back here. Okay, let's go back up to the front, start here bring it all the way towards the back. And now what we'll do is fill in all of the remaining space as we work our way down. So all of the rest of this empty space going down, we are going to fill in on each side. And for now, we'll leave all of this space here in the middle. So all of the rest of this, we're going to leave empty. So let's just fill in all of the sides. And I'm actually gonna grab a potion of swiftness cause this could be a little bit time consuming. Okay, I just about got one side done. So I'll show you what it should be looking like. There we go, just all filled in with some dark oak wood stairs up to the same height as we stopped these stairs at the front. Now let's do the same to this side. And now I'm finishing up with the last layer on this side. Okay, there we go. It's all looking like that. Now, before we fill in all of the rest of the space, let's mark out where we're gonna have the tower. So we'll get on to doing that next. Okay, first, before we shape out how the tower is going to be, let's bring it up to the height that it actually needs to be brought up to. So we already have a layer of cobblestone here. Now we'll just place on this corner another 32. So including this bottom layer, it's gonna be 33 in total. What I'll do is just use my cobblestone first so that we're just marking it out. But later on, we're gonna be deleting some of those cobblestone blocks because this centerpiece is gonna be a random mixture between a bunch of our different blocks. So like I said, just an additional 32 layers on top of this corner with our cobblestone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Okay, like that. And we'll bring up you know what, we really don't have to bring up the other side. So this is how tall the middle tower is going to be. So now what we'll do is we'll fill in these corners with our random mixture of blocks. So we're gonna be using just, we're not gonna be using the chiseled stone, but we'll use cobblestone, diorite, the stone brick, and the stone, okay? So, Let's go ahead, we'll just uh, start using whichever block you want. And we're just going to randomize it like this. So I guess I'll just start with the diorite first. And I'll go over to the original build so that you could see exactly what I did. So this is what I have. It's just all random. Keep in mind, we are gonna carve out some windows and stuff and add a little bit more on the outer edge. But just for right now, let's mark out how it's going to be. So randomize it just like this. So I'm going to go through and do all of that for these corners here at the front first. I'll show you what it should be looking like and then we'll shape out how the rest of the tower will be. Okay, I'm just about to finish up with this corner here on the one side first. So I do want to let you know this is going to be the most time consuming part of the build just randomly placing all of these blocks. 
Now keep in mind you don't necessarily have to do this random mixture, but I think it looks really really good. I would recommend it. But I guess if you really wanted to, you could continue with this pattern going all the way up the tower. It's all up to you. You could do it however you want. But here's a little look at the first corner like that. So we have two sides filled, down on, filled in on that side. Then we basically have two on this side. But it's kind of like one and one. You know what I mean? It's just like the corner. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. We have to bring up one extra layer right here. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll do this little corner here. And then, yeah, let's go ahead and do this last part. Now I have this entire corner done in just a second here. There we go. All right. So it's three on this side. So far, it's two on this side. Okay. So it looks like that. Let's go ahead and do the same for this other corner. Keep in mind, I'm going to leave the cobblestone here on the foundation all the way around. So you could just leave this all as cobblestone for the bottom layer. We're just going to be doing the additional 32. Okay, I just about got this side all the way brought up. All right, there we go. So now we have those two corners here at the front brought up to the height that the tower is going to be brought up to. So there we go. Now, I guess what we'll do before we continue with the tower, let's fill in these little like corner spaces that we have here on each side here at the front and all of this at the back. We'll start here at the back. Okay, here at the back, you can switch to your cobblestone first. We're going to add one more block so it connects with that window right there. And then you can switch to your stone bricks. And you don't necessarily have to put it right behind that quartz stair. So we'll just start here and add a layer of stone bricks. Make sure to connect it with that window there at the top. All right. Now we're going to have, we're going to be basically doing the same exact pattern that we had for all of the other layers. So that means after the stone brick, we have two layers of regular stone. So you could go behind all of these stairs here and fill in that empty space. Right here above this window, you can have a stone brick stair. And then continue with your stone. So remember, one extra layer on top of this, so it's two in total. And now after the stone, we then have chiseled brick so let's grab that our chiseled stone bricks add a layer on top of our stone and then after this we have another layer of cobblestone and then after the cobblestone we have our stone brick and then an extra two layers of stone Now after our stone, our chiseled brick again. And we're just gonna keep bringing this up until we have this entire backside filled in within the quartz. So then we have cobblestone. So you just want to follow along the inside, like the upside down quartz stairs on the inner part. I always say this, make sure not to go on the outer part like that. You don't want any blocks on the outer side of the, of the quartz stairs because we have to have our wood stairs here still. So now after that cobblestone, we have stone brick. Okay, and then two layers, basically just one extra layer of stone, but then we'll place one there, I guess. Okay, so now from this side, it looks like that. Looks all good. Let's head on up to the front and finish filling in the rest of these corners here until we have it all filled in up into that stair. So remember, after our cobblestone, we have our stone brick. So we'll just start it right here. Add a layer. Okay, and then after the stone brick, two layers of regular stone. Then we have chiseled brick. And then our cobblestone.
regular stone bricks. And then I believe, yep, two layers of regular stone. There we go, we have that all filled in. So now here at the front, it looks like that. Now all we really have left to do is this big tower here at the front. We have to finish filling in the rest of the wood stairs here. Then we have like a little like step up porch type thing there down at the bottom. We have some bushes to wrap around the bottom of the building. And then that's basically it. So I'm going to try to squeeze in the entire exterior into this video. So let's go ahead and, and uh, continue on with our tower here. Okay, let's start shaping out the square for the tower here. We want to make sure we're one layer higher than our stairs here. And you want to add another seven layers going towards the back here. So including the two layers that we already have, it's going to be nine in total. So we'll just mix it up a little bit. So we just added two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So now from that corner to that corner, it's nine in total. We'll do the same on this side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now we want to fill in the rest of the space here in the middle. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so there we go. Now we'll just continue bringing all of this up to the same height as this top part here. So just a random mixture. We do have some windows up here, but we'll carve those out later. So now we brought all of that up. Let's go ahead and start carving out all of the windows that we're gonna have. Then we'll top it off with the roof. Finish filling in that roof right there. Actually, let's just finish filling in this roof right here now. So I'm gonna use my potion of swiftness with our dark oak wood stairs and we'll fill all of this in so starting here and just work your way up make sure it's all lined up with the court stairs here at the back oh whoops make sure to actually use a dark oak wood slab right here for the top middle space So we have that all filled in. So for the most part, we have almost the entire exterior of the church done. We just have to finish adding all of the detail to the tower here at the front. Okay, let's start doing this step up into the building right here in front of the tower. So you could grab your stone bricks. We're gonna fill in three right here in the middle. Then we're gonna bring it out an additional three layers. Then let's go on each side, add three there and three there. Now let's go out one more, add two layers of stone bricks. All of this space here in the middle, we're gonna fill in with iron bars. Switch back to your stone brick stairs, place two on each side. And then I would actually recommend grabbing some stone brick slabs. I didn't do this at the original build. And you can add a slab on each corner like that. It'll make it look a little bit better. Okay, so there we go. Now, I think what I'm gonna do is start marking out how the doorway is going to be, and then we'll just completely fill this entire front side in. I think it'll be a lot easier to do so. Then we'll go back and carve out the holes for the windows. So let's go ahead and start with our, do our doorway down here first. So you could just mix it up with a bunch of random blocks. Make sure to leave an extra three layers in height. So we're gonna start on the fourth block, and you can start randomizing all of these. And we just want to make sure to leave one extra block here in the middle. So it's going to shape it out like that. We have three layers on each side in height and then one extra block in the middle. And now you can continue filling the rest of this in. And all the way up to the top. So I'm going to do that and then we'll start carving out all of our windows. Okay, I brought it all the way up like that so it's all filled in. Now it'll make it a little bit easier for us to mark out where we're gonna have all the windows. We'll actually, I guess, mark out where we're gonna have our stone brick stairs wrapped around, and then we'll start marking out where the windows are gonna be. Okay, make sure to switch to your stone brick stairs. You wanna make sure you're lined up with the same layer as the stone brick that we have here. If you actually don't have any stone brick here, you decided to change it up, 
Just make sure to leave one extra space right here. So we have our quartz stair, one extra space, and then we're on this layer. We're gonna wrap around our stone brick stairs here at the front. Now starting right here at the layer above it, we're gonna count up to the 10th block. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So now on this 10th layer, you could go all the way around the tower and add some stone brick stairs. Okay, there we go. What if we actually add some slabs here in the corner? Yeah, let's go ahead and add slabs in the corners. We'll do that for the front as well. We'll add a slab here and a slab here. So now we have those marked out. Let's now start marking out where all of our windows are gonna be. Okay, let's go ahead and start marking out our windows. We'll just start with our stone brick stairs. Leave one space right here in between our door and the hole we're gonna cut out. So we're gonna cut out three and then we're gonna bring it up five. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And then two extra blocks here in the middle and then an upside down stone brick stair there. So that is going to be one window. So we have, oh yeah, and then three stone brick stairs down here at the bottom. So it's gonna be the same size window that we have for all of the other ones. We'll go ahead and fill this in with our white stained glass panes. Now let's start right here, the block above that stone brick stair, and we're gonna skip over five. One, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna start on this sixth block and we're gonna carve out five. One, two, three, four, five. Leaving two extra spaces here. Now let's go to the center of that five on each side and cut out another two. And then go to each corner and cut out one. Now let's fill all of this in with white stained glass panes. Now let's skip over another four. One, whoops, hang on. One, two, three, four. So we're on the fifth layer. We're gonna leave this empty or the space here in the middle as it is. We're gonna skip over to the right, carve out two, bring it up a total of four. Go to this side. Carve out two, and then a total height of four like that. Let's go on each side and do the same thing. So we're gonna have a window here and here. Go over to the back side, do it again. And then over to this side one more time. Okay, let's fill all of this in with white stained glass panes. We have all of the windows marked out, looking all good. Now we just have to top it off with our roof and then we are basically done. Let's actually grab our oak leaves. And we'll add all of these in between the empty space down here at the bottom. Let's actually delete. Yeah, first let's delete all of this uh, orange concrete. So I've got my grass block. We're going to fill all of this in with the grass after we delete it. And then we'll uh, add a bunch of oak leaves in between all of the space down here at the bottom. Okay, now let's use our oak leaves and fill in all of the space here in between all of these cobblestone stairs. We won't worry about the corners there. All right, there we go. So that is basically all we'll do. I guess if you really wanted to, you could add a little bit more to these. But that's up to you. I almost forgot. We also have a little bit of stone brick that we have to add here in the ground. So you could grab your stone bricks or yeah, your regular stone bricks. We'll start here. 
and we'll stop it right here. So we'll fill all of this in with stone bricks. We'll go underneath that these uh, oak leaves here as well. Like that, let's do the same for this side. Now, yeah, the last thing that we have left to do for the exterior of the building is just the top of the roof up here. So let's go ahead and get on to doing that. Okay, all the rest of the blocks we're gonna be using includes some quart slabs, quart stairs, dark oak wood stairs, dark oak wood slabs, dark oak planks, oak fences, stone, diorite, cobblestone, and our stone bricks. Start with your quartz stairs. We'll be right here at the front corner first. We have a stair upside down facing sideways, and then another stair like that, and a slab here in the corner. We have a stair sideways and upside down again, and then another upside down stair connecting with it. So that's what we're gonna have down there at the corner. So we'll do the same here. So from this side, upside down and sideways, upside down. We have a slab kind of towards the bottom, then upside down and sideways, and then upside down. We're gonna do that for the back corners here as well. Okay, there we go. Now let's start shaping out how the roof is going to be. Okay, we'll start here at the front corner. We have a quartz stair like that, then upside down, and then up, upside down, and up until you're about in the center. So the center is going to be right here. So we'll just stop it there. Let's start bringing up this side. And then an upside down quartz stair and a slab. Let's do that for all of the other sides. So starting right here. All right, we have that side done. Let's do the rest of them. And now we have all of that done. Let's then use all of our stone blocks. Let's just switch out. Uh, we'll switch out the fence for now. Let's use all of our stone blocks and go from the inside and just finish filling the rest of this empty space in. And once again, make sure you're just lined up with all the upside down stairs. Don't go on the outer edge like that, as you can see. So we have that part all done. I guess if you really wanted to, you could add one there. So it makes it easier to place the stairs later on. But let's do the same for all of the other sides. Now we just have to add our wood stairs and then we're gonna have a little tower, little like a wooden tower here with the cross at the top. Switch to your dark oak wood stairs and we're gonna start filling in all of this space. So just follow along all of those court stairs until you reach the middle. And then keep in mind, we are gonna have some dark oak wood slabs for the middle. So we'll just bring up the stairs like that for that corner. Let's start bringing up this corner now. Okay, now we have each corner uh, filled in. Let's use our dark oak wood slabs. We'll bring this towards the front and then we'll fill in the sides. Okay, there we go. 
Now we have a little wooden tower here and then our cross. So now the final thing, let's actually just get rid of all of this. We're just going to be using our full blocks of dark oak planks and our oak fence. We're going to carve out a hole here in the middle. And then we'll carve out three on each side. So we have three here, then there, there, and there. So it's like a three by three square. Now we're going to fill all of this in here on the bottom layer with a layer of dark oak wood planks. Then on top of that, add an additional two layers. Okay, then let's bring up three on each side right in the middle. We'll fill in the middle as well. And then another three at the top like that, right in the middle. You can use your oak fence. We'll bring it up one, two, three, four. And then on that second block towards the top, you could branch it out on each side. And there we go, we have our cross. And now we are done with the entire exterior of the church. And all we really have left to do is the interior. Okay guys, that's going to be it for part one for this tutorial on how to build a church. If it helped you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in part two. Later.